amen. Because me and my wife own this meat thing we're trying to do. And that's another story, but I go sit on a tree not by myself where somebody can see me and my good can be evil spoken. But right out in the open, in the, in the plaza, I go, it's a tree. And I go and sit up under that tree during lunchtime. And I begin to listen to God. And it's there that I talk to God and try to find some type of understanding. I don't understand. I can't wrap my mind around what's going on here. And I heard God. I jumped out of my truck. And I opened my Bible. And he said that the heart of the king's heart is in the hand of God. In other words, God is saying that I got this thing under control. And don't you look what you don't you let what you see and don't you let what you're going through. Don't you look at somebody and say neighbor, shake her. Say neighbor. Don't you even let the way you feel dictate your walk with God. Because tell somebody, say, hey, at the end of the day, God's got the power. I dare you to say power, baby. I dare you to say it again. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah another time. Let's let go. Say neighbor, if you keep on doing it, you're gonna make God angry. If you keep on doing it, you're gonna fall into the hands of an angry God. If you keep on doing it, tell your neighbor, that's why I tell them. Say if you keep on working it out, if you keep fixing it, if you keep trying to do it, tell your neighbor, say, hey, if you think your prayers are gonna do it, okay, if you think your praise is gonna do it, Tell your neighbor, you got to have God in there. Can the church say hallelujah? Yeah. It's not in how much you read. It's not in how much you pray. But it's in how much you can yield to the hand of God, to the spirit of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You look at somebody and say, he's the God of all flesh. By accident, say, what do you know that's too hard for God? Give God praise in the house. I'm almost there. And I ponder that thing. And because we always say that, ain't nothing too hard for God. We quote that scripture. It's a light thing with God. And that's only when we say it to somebody else. That's only when you're telling your friend. Oh, yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's only a light thing with God. Honey, God can fix it. The brother God can fix it. And you know, we get that solemn look. We get that real spiritual deep look. You know that look like you're seeing through huh? We get that prophetic look huh? But can I tell you something I don't care what kind of prophet you are huh? Can I tell you something You need God huh? Oh God help me in the house tonight huh? We get that look and tell him He can do anything Honey he gon' heal you huh? Until the pain in our body huh? Honey he gon' feed you huh? Until we ain't got no food huh? But God wanna know what you gonna do huh? When the trouble hits you, what you gonna do when you're crying? What you gonna do when you ain't got nobody making love to you? What you gonna do when you by yourself? What you gonna do when you ain't getting no revivals? What you gonna do? Tell your name, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let God do it. Say, let God do it. Say, let God do it. statement. He said, I am, I am the Lord. Lord. 